Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have been blessed and staying safe. Um, welcome to all of my new subscribers and the people that have, uh, are watching me for the first time. Welcome back to all of my faithful followers and my people that have already subscribed to my channel. So this is part two of a video. I recorded part one earlier where I pressed this um, affirmations pillow. So this is a sublimation um, video. So when I printed and pressed this, apparently I had no clue that my blue was not working. I have an Epson EcoTank 2720 that I converted for sublimation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. Um, so I had to end up fixing that, unclogging the printer in order for it to look right. So I've done that and I am going to attempt to press it to get the correct uh, image on there. So what I've done is I've taken four sheets of um, copy paper and I've laid it down on my heat press. This is to protect my the bottom platen of my heat press because this is a, a double-sided image and one side has already been pressed. And so I'm just trying to make sure that nothing ends up on my heat press. I did put a piece of parchment paper in between. So this is my image that I've already printed and I've had to piece it together um, because I do have an Epson EcoTank 2720. It only prints eight and a half by the longest is 14. Um, I only have eight by 12 sublimation paper. Um, so I had to pr uh, print this image several times um, in order to get as big as I want. This, um, and of course my tape is sticking y'all. This um, sublimation pillow is 15 by 15. Got it from Amazon. I am using a sub sublimation paper. I purchased that from Amazon. Um, my sublimation ink that I use, I use Printer's Jack uh, sublimation um, ink, and I also got that from Amazon. Uh, just about everything I got, I got from Amazon. This heat tape came from Amazon. And I'm just saying all that uh, in case somebody asks. So for everybody who knows about sublimation, you know we'll always take um, something called blowout paper, wax paper, whatever kind of paper it is that we need and put on top um, to make sure that this does not bleed. I love ASUB sublimation paper, but it does bleed. I have a zipper here um, and I'll show it to you. I. Uh, pulled it down close towards the edge of this uh, heat press because I don't want to melt my zipper closed. I've got my heat press set at 395 degrees and I'm going to press that for 60 seconds. Um, so yeah, let me tell y'all right quick how I fixed it. So what I did was I did a lot of nozzle print checks. I think I ended up doing four. Um, to push the blue through and because of course I went online and tried to figure out what was happening and apparently blue is the color that tends to get stuck sometimes or doesn't want to print. So I did a couple of nozzle checks. Um, after I did those, I printed a couple of purge pages. I think I printed like five or six of those. Um, and if you don't know what a purge file is, it's just um uh just a file that has all blue all yellow all magenta and all black and it's kind of uh pushing those colors through your nozzle um so i did that a couple of times um so in between the nozzle checks and the purge files i got my blue printing again of course i was terrified so a tip for for everybody new to sublimation try to print something at least once a week to keep the ink from settling um so let's see how this turned out um lord i hope it printed okay okay so that turned out a whole lot better ish um as you can see it's not as orange this is hot 
and I'm always talking about safety. <laughs> um, let me grab my little Dollar Tree gloves um, to kind of help with this. So, as you can see, because these were the colors it was supposed to be, um, so you can see that's a little bit more brown versus this. So this is how everything was printed. You see everything looks kind of orange because the blue was not working. You're like, how in the world does the blue affect that? But you see this was orange. Um, now that I've printed it, you can kind of tell the difference in between the color. So now everything is not orange is kind of a brownish type color kind of like a fall um type thing and so i added a couple of buller buller i can't talk so i added a couple of butterflies to this um and let me go ahead and take this piece of paper out just so you guys can see and let me grab my pillow form right quick let me see if i can go back behind the curtain and grab this pillow form. Got this pillow form from Wally World. Um, it's an 18 inch. Don't ask me why I bought an 18 inch pillow form with the 15 inch pillow. Y'all don't judge me. Um, Cause it's all finna get squished up in here. Um, so let me go ahead and try to get this in here just like i said this was for me so there's no big deal if you know there were any discrepancies y'all know before i do anything i always experiment and make one for myself um so this is kind of squished in here but that's okay um so yeah there we go and it's a satin i hope you can see that sheen on there so it's a satin sheen type and i think it's cute so you can tell the difference this is the side that printed when my blue was not printing at all so everything looks kind of orange even the the lady but then we flip it over and you can see the different shades of brown. Um, so yeah, again, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for supporting my channel. Um, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up. Um, leave a comment in the comment section if you just want to drop a tip just to say, hey, or is it something that you want to see me do concerning sublimation? Um, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you can be notified next time I go live. Um, I will be uploading a video soon. I purchased a sublimation water bottle from Michaels. Um, here it is. Make Market. 22 ounce. Um, so yeah, I want to sublimate that. I'm just trying to find a super cute design to go on there. So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Continue to stay safe and be blessed. And as I always say, do what makes you happy. And for me, that's crafting. Bye now.